Lala Shepard. This is Conversations with Lala presented by the Progress Report. Man, I'm super honored to be here with AIM. AIM, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm great, man. I can't complain, man. We alive, so we great. You know what I mean? So, yes, yes. AIM, let the people know, man, what do you do? Um, People refer to me as a hip-hop gospel artist. I like to say just hip-hop. Um, okay. I was on This Is 50 and um, I dropped Praise yes. of That Trying. Yep, and I'm um, on This Is 50, um, announcing yeah. it. And um, I was on a show called Party and Bullshit Show with Jack Thriller. Yep, I saw that. And I just, just just been hustling after that, you know, just um, paying, always paying for promotion, getting God's word out there. I feel like the world is full of negativity right now. Like, it's just a lot of right. crazy things happening. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, like people might be skeptical about the gospel, you mm. know what I'm saying? But I feel like that's the next wave. I feel like okay. things in the world is pushing towards that. Like, I got eventually you. somebody's going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least rap positive or give positive message. I call it gospel because I rap positive. It's not really right. like gospel. It's gospel really music. Hip, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's really hip hop. Yeah. Like, you listen to it, you you think it's hip hop. Yeah. Nah, facts, facts, facts. And, you know, I definitely did my research on you and I thought that was dope. You know, I think I definitely hear what you said just as far as, you know, that's going to be the next wave. I think um, even like if you think about like Kurt Franklin, like, you know, he, he always did a good job to me with that balance. Like you got the good production. You can play that stuff in the club, really. You know what I mean? But you yeah. you're preaching a good message. So I, I definitely can appreciate that. So So talk about like, how did you get influenced to even, you know, want to, you know, preach that met message in your music? Like, what what influenced well, you to, you know, be on that? Well, I always read the word, but yeah. um, I was a little skeptical about doing gospel music. I like I might listen to gospel, like, and yeah. a lot of people on Instagram, they always, I got influenced by them by rappers showing guns. I thought I needed to rap that way. Got you. I'm not okay. discrediting it, but. It influenced yeah. me to rap that way. And I'm like, I'm not really about that life. <laughs> right. Hey, and I respect you for saying that. Yeah, yeah. So I said, let me not even act like I'm about that. Because I feel like the people that rap about that will get tested on that level. I said, Absolutely. I'm, and, I'm not, and I'm not on that type of terms. So I said, let me just be me. Let me rap how I rap. Let me be who I am. You know what I'm saying? So um, it started off reading. Then I went to the studio. I was rapping gospel. My friend, like, um. My friend, he was smoking. He like, I don't think the devil like you. I don't think he wants you to do this. Wow. So I'm like, I'm listening. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? And then it all made sense why he said that. And this is not mm. even a gospel person. This is someone who in the streets. And he don't believe in anything. He believes in what he see. So yeah. for him to say that, it kind of like shook me the wrong way. I'm like, dang, maybe the devil don't like me. Maybe I need to keep doing this. Like right. maybe what I'm doing is very powerful. And um. I moved out of um Virginia. Okay. I moved, um, I just went to New York for a trip. I went to New York for a trip. I ended up being in the city. I was in the city. I was feeling down a little bit. I just went there to clear my mind, walk around, and mm. I bumped into Jack Filler. That's I crazy. Did little, I did a little video with him, and then um, you know, I, I tagged him the video on Instagram. And I went to his page. I'm like, wow, he got a show called Party Bullshit, Bullshit. So that's what it's called. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me let me see if I can do the show. He said, you know, he charged this amount of much. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, well, can you do this? And I for he was sure, like, okay, for sure. make know. it make sense. I got you. Yeah, I cash app, and since then I've been taking music a lot more serious. I feel like people okay. look at me different. They say, wow, you on th these platforms? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, this, yeah. There might be a possible way you could get to the next level. So a lot of people like they rock with me. They, you know, the Israelite videos on World Star. I'm just I'm just yeah. really working, you know what I'm saying? I have no label push sure. behind me, nothing like that. I'm just out of pocket, just pushing to Absolutely. the next level. Nah, definitely, man. And you know, you gotta you gotta if you believe in something, you gotta definitely be proactive about it. So I salute to you for that. You know, even with the progress support brand, you know, you gotta plant some seeds. Like you gotta get your yeah. name out there. And if yeah. you be consistent with it, then your your name and brand gonna speak for itself. You know what I mean? Exactly, so, yeah. Just keep working. 
So let me ask you, like, so how are you been staying creative during COVID? Because, you know, COVID, it's like, man, it's like, it, it, I'm sure it put a creative block on people. But then if on, a, on the latter side of that, too, it might give you more time to be more creative. So how, how has COVID affected you? Um, I wanted to go to Atlanta to do a lot of platforms. That was my idea. There's a lot of platforms out there I wanted to do. Gotcha. And I could do that. And people say, um, they can reach out to me and be like, well, I see, I, I lower, lower this price for you. You know, they know, they work it with me. They work it with yeah. me. Like, hey, all I need to do is go out there and do this platform and that and that, and I'll be good. You know what I'm saying? But right. um, when COVID happened, they kind of made me skeptical to travel. Okay. Yeah, so I, got I just kind of like hold off on a lot of things. I feel like it really held me back because I really, my mind, mm. my mindset is big. I'm like, dang, if I could get on this platform, this might make my YouTube look crazy. Like, they're going to be like, he out here working crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I just like try to get on as much as YouTube channels as possible. It's nothing but an email away. You know what I'm saying? But Absolutely. some things you have to be there. You know what I'm saying? I can't get an interview with DJ, DJ Small Eyes from here. You know what I'm saying? I, I have you. to be there and present. I try to figure out a way to maneuver it, but there's no possible I way. You. Yeah, so. Okay. Respect. Respect. Now, you said you, are you from Virginia? And you just. Well, I, I'm not from Virginia. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Oh, you're from New York. New York. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm from Queens, New York. And um, I lived in Virginia basically all my life. So okay. I travel back and forth. I mean, I travel back and forth. I mean, Respect. from New York to Virginia to D.C. to Florida. I don't really oh, got yeah, no yeah. stable oh, so ground. I'm always moving. I, I, I put myself on tour. I put myself on tour. <laughs> you got to do that. You <laughs> yeah, gotta do so, that. I mean, I feel like I'm getting older. It's now to chase the dream or never, you know? No, nah, for sure, for sure. I yeah. um, actually, I went to St. John's for a little minute out there in Jamaica, Queens, so that's why I asked you that. So, I, you know, I fuck oh, with New York. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's fuck with New York, man. You know. That's what's up. So, that's what's up. So, talk about the differences, though, from traveling to all these different places, like, you know, just the differences in the music and the people. Like, what's some stuff that you noticed? Um, different places got different vibes of people. When Absolutely. I was in Virginia, I always talk to everybody. I walk past somebody. I say, what's up, bro? Mm -hmm. Me coming to New York, when I speak to people, it's just like, why are you talking to me? Well, I don't know Man, you. Man, they mean it all I say there. is good morning. All mm -hmm. I say is good morning. But it's a new maneuver way how you can approach people out here. Like, I realize Absolutely. me and people, if someone's short on money or buying something, like, I got you, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Some, people, some people find it disrespectful. I got my own money, bro. You know what I'm saying? New York right. is just a different vibe. But I still, like, they're like, bro, I ride with you, bro. Like, you ain't had to give me $5, bro. No, it was for like, sure. Yeah, I go to the stores, a bunch of dudes out there. I'm like, yeah, shoot, yeah, I, I smoke cigarettes. They be like, huh? I be like, that's love. I don't smoke cigarette, but I buy them for y'all. You know what I'm saying? No, wow. fifteen dollars, but just just showing love and cigarettes kindness. Cigarettes are expensive. Yeah, Absolutely. showing love yeah, and kindness. Yeah, yeah. They like, dang, they like, yo, bro, I rock with bro. Like, they just came up to me, but they be surprised. Love. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They like, dang, bro, doing that for what? Like, they think it's for something. Like, I, I just. Seen you smoking a cigarette, I just thought it made me want a box. <laughs> nah, that's that's love. You yeah. know what I mean? I think I think kindness goes a long way and that's and that's good to hear, you know, your character is aligned with what you be, you know, speaking about. So I, I Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You know what so, I'm, saying? That's I'm hard. not the I'm not the um perfect person, you know. I ain't gonna say I don't right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But I just I just like to preach the word and stuff like that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I just try to Absolutely. be positivity, but I don't wanna put it in the gospel way. I really wanna put it Absolutely. Hip hop thug way. Yeah. Hip hop gangsta way. People like, yo, oh, they, you know what I'm saying? Like a Rallo and Kevin Gates type. I really listen to them. I got like you. That. Yeah, What's yeah, up? like that. So it's not really, I say gospel because it's positive, like I said. You know what I'm I mean, but it's still to me, like, you know, even with hip hop, like, you got like a Mo 3 or like you just mentioned, like Kevin Gates yeah. or Rallo, like, Certain mm -hmm. artists, the way they rap or, or their voices, even Rod Wave, you know what I mean? It is like it's really gospel, you feel me? So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But people you know? try to put you in the lane. I don't like that. They like, do. It's hip -hop. True. It's hip hop. I got friends who won't even. I feel you. I can't even call them friends. They won't even post me on their Instagram because they say people don't want to hear that. They they rather feed, mm. share a video of people with guns with ladies on yeah. it. Yeah. Since I got a Bible with a ladies on it, they're like, nah, nobody yeah. wants to hear that. So. It's I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say just keep doing you and also too just continue to be proactive because like you know the fact that you even reaching out to me and different platforms you're doing the right thing like just okay. keep fighting for what you believe in man and just be strategic like you know what I mean. Yeah. Um So who are some artists that you you looked up to? I know you just kind of mentioned Rilo and uh, Kevin Gates. Who are some other artists that you 
I listen to a lot of artists. I didn't listen to old school music. I was I was yeah. um 19 years old. I went to the city. I always go to the city every summer, Manhattan. Mm. And I try to meet somebody important. I used to try to. Like I used to be walk because I, I it's like the lady said, it was a lady, she said, come here on Thursday at seven o'clock. Diddy gonna be here at seven. Make sure you ain't late. Diddy gonna be here, you give me a CD. So yeah. I'm young, I'm 19 years old. I go to the city. Um, I'm in front of the building, seven o'clock hit. He pulled up right on time. He got the car, gave him a CD, and I'm I'm hype at the age. I'm like, oh, I'm about to get signed. I, I just gave him hmm. a CD. And I as Adele, I realized it's not how it works. But after mm. that, um, a rapper called Master Ace, he came right behind him. Okay. And he said, I'm shooting a video tomorrow, I'll be here at nine. You wanna be in the mm. video? So I came at nine and I'm like, who's Master Ace? You know, a lot of people know of him. Mm. And um, my family, like, you don't know him. I'm like, he, I'm in the studio with him now. Every day I'm yeah, in the studio with him, just hard. sitting there chilling. And I yeah. looked him on YouTube, and I've been listening to him ever since. So I listened to Master Ace, old school rapper, and um, he's still doing tours. He's doing good at Master Ace. He's, he's a legend. I didn't know who he was because he's not in my time frame. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. but I do listen to him a lot, and um, like Boosie. Yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of artists. I mean, young boy, I listen to I listen to everybody. So I um I like all music. I like it's all absolutely. Music. Yeah. Respect, respect, man. Here, yeah, I think you do. It's, it's I think it's very important to at least listen to everybody once. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, for sure. So let the people know why should they check you out? Check me out because I feel like that's powerful. I'm on this is fifty saying praise the die trying. For sure. At a time like this, and it, I mean, it's been a year since that interview, but um. It's just positivity. I don't see nobody feeling of that vibe. I don't feel like nobody that's really about that church life. I make I make it influence. Like I make good look good. People like people make bad look bad. I make good look good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So um, I mean, I'm working on. I'm really working. I'm really. I'm not saying I'm the most known, but I'm really, really doing more than what others are doing. I, and I ain't, and I ain't comparing myself to others. But I'm just saying, I'm really, you can tell who wants it, you can tell who don't, by their work ethic. Absolutely. Work you ethic is everything. Sell, I'm, I'm out here working. I have my own website. You can order teachers. Absolutely. And I, I see the, you. I have, I have my own platform called aim.tv with interviews, with, with lives of major artists. I have multiple YouTube channels, most of the Instagrams. I have clothing you can buy. I have everything set up for me to win. I have everything set up. You know what I'm saying? Aim.tv. I mean, it's it's. A, I love that platform. I feel like if somebody helped, not help me, but if somebody was to gravitate and see what I'm doing with that, they'd be like, "That's sweet." You know what I'm saying? Like, That's and right. I love the progress report. I love y'all. I've been watching y'all. That's and hard. Website, and um, I really, really rock with. I was like, Dang, I gotta reach out to them. But um, yeah, I think people should listen. People should listen to what I'm saying. Like each and every bar, I'm really spreading positivity. Um, I'm not a religious person. But um, I I would say I'm someone who reads. Like, I just mm. read, 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 read. And I'm just trying to get understanding. Not just about one religion, just about others. Just to see what people think. I feel like we all need to, I feel like we all praise one God. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason to divide each other. I used to say, um, people like, what you, what you, what you is? Like, you, they see me doing gospel, spreading positivity. They see a Bible in my hand. At the young kid, I, I don't want to curse on him, but I was like, I'm just a nigga that read. I used to say that all the time, just a nigga that read. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I like to read God's word. I like to understand. I like I like searching. You know what I'm saying? I like seeking. You know what I'm saying? It's like things add up and you just like, dang, that's right there. You know what I'm saying? It's all a puzzle. It's all like figuring out a maze of the truth. You know what I'm saying? So Right. Yeah, so this, I feel like people should really listen. Subscribe to the channel. Um. Follow me on Twitter, aim.tv, Twitter, aim the rapper, CEO, Twitter. And um, I'm just really out here pushing, you know what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. I feel like me being on yep. This Is 50, saying praise that I try. And um, I'm always paying for blogs, talking about me. And um, it's just a lot of stuff. I feed into Google and I feed into YouTube constantly. And I'm just, I'm just out here working, hashtag, doing as much as I can. Absolutely. To get out there, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of platforms I'm trying to reach out and be on. And I feel like I feel like one day I'm going to be the next thing. I do really feel like that. I dream about it. So I feel like, I mean, I don't know. Once, once I start seeing 
once I start listening to what I'm saying, it's some songs that I made that just hit me like, dang, if they, someone was to hear this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dang, this is really dope. You know what I'm saying? Some songs I rush. I'm trying to take my time with writing, but I write all my music. And, okay. Uh, pick my own beats. Um, I do everything myself. You know what I'm saying? Record to everything. I do everything myself. I'm pushing. So my own okay. website, like I said, and I'm just, I'm just out here pushing. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, not every rapper from Queens is on This Is 50. Not every rapper from, right. you know, the opportunity was out there, which I feel is be on party and boom. I feel like I'm on there for a reason. Ain't the rapper. No, I got you. Yeah, nah, so. respect. Big salute to you, man. Like you said, not everybody, you know, on these platforms. Um, so my final question, I want to ask you, what does the word progress mean to you? You know, that's the name of the show. So what does it mean to you? Progress? Um, yeah. Progress. I would say progress means to me to elevate each task or annihilate each task that you do. Everything you got your mindset on, do. Everything you do feel is the progress. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 elevation. It's elevating you. When party right. bullshit show when I was on there, I didn't stop. I said I didn't settle with that. I said, nah, I need another interview. So I called Jack. I'm like, yo, I need another interview. He said no at first. I said, okay. I called him back a few months later. Hey, I got such and such. Cash app ready. Send it. Okay. I'm progressing. Now I'm on a progress report. And from here I'm I'm going to be on other, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to sit around Absolutely. and wait for something to come to me. I'm Damn gonna, right. I'm going to work towards it. You know what I'm saying? If I could get out there in Atlanta, if this could calm down what's going on with the world. It will. It will. Would, it will. I, would, I can do a lot more. I could do a lot more. That would really shock the people around me and the people, you know, people just watch me in general. You know what I'm saying? I don't put too, put too much on Instagram. I feel like I don't really need to show what I'm doing. I feel like people just take the time to click on the link. <laughs> you'll see everything everything is really set um i don't know i'm just not really i'm just trying to take a break from social media right now but uh it's just like kind of draining but um i'm making progress everything i do so that's what progress means to me and um yeah, yeah just out here progress and just working working constantly working you know what i'm saying constantly working whether Absolutely. it be slowly or whether it be fast just always doing something always trying to reach to the next level you know Got you, man. We ain't stay at nine. Tune in every time. We don't do no cap. Report only facts. Crackers report. We got the news. New interviews. We got the stats. Keep it a rat.